Next, prices of resale HDB flats may start to ease in 2014 to 2016. So say property analysts who explain that more than 8,000 flats could hit the market during that period. But they expect resale prices to stay high this year. Ji Shamani and her family are expecting to move into their new executive condominium unit at Osville Residences early next year. But they have already sold their public housing flat to cash in on the high property prices. Under current rules, they have to sell the flat within six months from getting the temporary occupation permit to their new EC unit. My house, which is a five-room flat, um, I only bought it for 188000 and during just right after my five years, at that time, there was an offer for 503, which was about 30,000 above valuation, which was the highest at the time in, in, in St. Kang. So we decided to you know, go for it and sell. And also we were worried about you know, um, 2013 um, of prices starting to cool down. Dennis Wee Group estimates that up to a total of 2,600 resale units could become available from 2014 to 2016 as HDB upgraders move into the new ECs, while second-time buyers moving to new built-to-order and sale of balanced flats could inject another 5,900 resale flats into the market. Going to have a slew of record supply completing from 2014 onwards, which will have an impact in terms of uh, rentability because we're great at entering into a market uh, of tightening labour immigration conditions. Some analysts say HDB resale prices could climb by about 5% this year as the supply of units remains tight. They add that the median cash over valuation or COV could also breach the all-time high of $36,000 set in the third quarter of 2011. Some analysts have suggested ways to keep COV in check. If you want drastic measures, it could stop the whole COV issue which means that HDB flats has to be sold at valuation price. But then more moderate measures, it could uh, include taxing on the taxation on the COV that they collected for the sale of flat. Analysts say they've already noticed some resistance in paying high COV in 2012, and they expect resale activity to slow if COV continues to rise.